This is version 1.4 of Speak for Yourself, and we're very excited because this uh, version introduces a new feature called Hold That Thought. So if you see these two buttons right up here are new on the app, and what this feature is designed to do is we have a lot of students that we talk to, of course, using AAC, and a lot of um, friends who use AAC, and what we notice is that sometimes when they're composing a message... I want to tell you something. So sometimes when they're in the middle of um, talking, somebody will ask them a question. And then in order to answer that question, they either have to clear this whole message window and answer, or they have to add it on and then delete it back out. So what this feature is designed to do is that if they're interrupted, so say you're at a restaurant and you're having a conversation, somebody comes over and asks what you want to drink, they can touch this little button here, and it takes that thought and holds it up in the little holding area there, and then they can answer. Sprite, please. Sprite, please. And then when the waitress walks away, they can touch this little button again, and it pops the thought that they were holding back into the message window so that they don't have to start all over again. One of the other things that this feature does is if you touch this little hold that thought box, you can hold up to 30 thoughts. So where we think this may be useful is for children who are using this app in class for them to be able to form their sentences, um, form their answers to participate in the classroom. And um, instead of, a lot of times what happens is the teacher will say, okay, well, you're going to do number three so that the student can kind of get ready. But this way they can have answers to multiple questions preformed, And then when they're called on, they can raise their hand and be called on to answer whichever one they want. So if you wanted to do this, what it'll also do is add to what you already have in the message window. So if I had in here, I want to tell you something, and it's going to just I want to tell you something. Mold is disgusting. So if they wanted to do that, they could. Another way that you can add thoughts is if you wanted to say something like, The sun is hot. So you could say that, and then you can go into this hold that thought window and add it that way. Oops, sorry. Okay, so then you have and if you look in here, you have all of your thoughts. If there's a thought that you don't need in here, or like this where it kind of duplicated here, you can just go slide across it and hit delete, just like you can on any iDevice. And then just touch anywhere to get out of it. Another feature that we have added in this version is a QWERTY lock. So we were getting some feedback that some of the children were going in and um, not using that appropriately. It was, being more, it was becoming more of a distraction than a benefit. So what you can do is you can go out of the app to the iPad settings. And then if you see right here, there's a hold that thought lock. So if your child's not quite ready for hold that thought, you can lock that so that those buttons don't appear. And then you have your QWERTY lock here. So if I turn the QWERTY lock on and then go back into Speak for Yourself, you'll see that now it's just a little black area so that there's nothing there to distract the child. So we hope that this feature is very useful to a lot of people using the app, and we would love your feedback. So thank you so much for listening, and please let us know if there's anything else that you think of that we can do. Take care.